So Android 16 QPR 2 Beta 3 has been released and I wasn't actually planning on making a video about this because there just aren't that many changes like worth talking about. It's a Beta 3 so typically they're just like shoring things up, putting on the finishing touches before they release it as a public release but there is one really big reason why I need to talk about it. I would bet there is a pretty good amount of you who are watching this video who are in the beta channel, the beta track, because you wanted to try out the new desktop mode that Google rolled out a few beta releases ago. If that is the case, and in your developer options, you have enabled desktop experience features, you have that turned on before you install this next update, 16 QPR2 beta number three, turn that off. We are seeing tons of reports of, for whatever reason, this breaking people's phones, doing all sorts of nasty things, rendering their phones inoperational. Some people have been able to factory reset and get their phone working again, but just it's not worth the risk. Turn that off before you install this new update. That being said, we will look at a few things that are new. One big thing is my normal method of showing you phones with screen copy. For some reason, it's not working on my original Pixel Fold running this beta. So maybe they've broken screen copy with this update. Not exactly sure. With Material 3 Expressive, we have all of these really nice, beautiful transparency things happening that I think looks really, really good, in particular in light mode. Dark mode, I think, looks fine as well. But light mode really, really pops with Material 3 expressive, but maybe you don't like that. And if you don't like that, you can now go into your settings and come down to accessibility. And you're going to be looking for color and motion. And there is an option here now to reduce the blur effects. So now if we go home, I said if we go home and you go into your app drawer, you're not going to have that same blur effect. If you go into your quick settings and your notifications, you're not going to have that same blur effect, not personally for me. We're definitely going to keep that on, but maybe you want to save some battery. Maybe you don't like the way that looks. You can disable it. On your home screen, we've always had the ability, or I shouldn't say always, but for a long time, we've had the ability to long press on an icon and then grab one of these shortcuts and then long press that and drag it onto the screen. But now they've just added a little plus symbol. So if you want to do that, if you want to add one of these shortcuts to your home screen, you can just tap on that plus button and it's going to throw it directly onto your screen. Part of me wonders if they are not doing this literally because like people don't realize that they can make those shortcuts things that are just on the screen. You can still do it the old way, but now it should just be a lot easier for people to see and understand that that is a thing that you could do. Next up, we have something that they actually kind of have taken away a little bit from the last beta. It's kind of kind of strange. If we jump into settings and we go into display and touch, and then we go into uh, lock screen, and then we look for widgets on the lock screen, we no longer have an option that deals with when these widgets should be automatically shown. So if you don't know about this, on our lock screen, you can now do a swipe over and see these widgets. You can long press and go into an option to add widgets to this screen. And it's basically just like you would expect it to be. You can just add widgets to this screen. But before, we did have an option that would kind of allow these widgets to show automatically if the device was charging or, you know, things like that. There were like parameters where these widgets could automatically appear. That has been taken away. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but it is a change worth noting. Beyond that, we just have like a ton of bug fixes. You can see here them on screen. I'm not going to read through these because there are quite a few of them. You can see them for yourself. Pause to read, as they say on uh, TikTok and so forth. So that is what we have for QPR 2 beta number 3. The big thing there is just don't let your phone get bricked. Turn off that setting and then update and you should be just fine. Uh, the stable release for this should be coming relatively soon. It's going to be, you know, the next Pixel feature drop. And of course, there are quite a few really cool things coming with it. Personally, my biggest thing is that it's going to allow us to force icons to take on a theme. They don't have to uh, support that feature. It'll just grayscale the icon and do it for you. You probably saw that on my Pixel Fold I was showing you a minute ago that all my icons were themed. 
fantastic. Can't wait for that. But there's more stuff as well. I'll put a link down below to the other videos going over the new features with this beta, the earlier betas that introduced most of the new features. So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.